Hey everybody, in our last video we started making the connector for the Automoblox car. This is the inside connector. <clears throat> and later we're going to be making two more plastic pieces that insert into the wooden part of the Automoblox car and connect to this one. So what we've got here is, let's see, yeah, this is what the connector is going to look like when we're done and we're working on this face right here and we're trying to put a rectangular shape inserted 0.33 deep. So the rectangular shape is 0.31 high and it's going to be um, point, let's see what that is, 0.34 from this side and I'm guessing 0.34, yeah, 0.34 from both sides 0.235 from the top, 0.31 down. So that's pretty easy to get started on. So we'll just right click on the front surface, new sketch, and create a rectangle. Avoid placing points on dots and things that are already there. Kind of put them out in space um, so that they're not constrained to anything already, so that we can drive with our dimension constraint. Uh, and we can tell it to be from here to there, 0.34. And then again from the other side, from there to there, also 0.34. And then we want the height from there to there to be 0.31. And I'm getting old, my memories. Uh, 0.235 from the top. So from this line to that line, 0.235. Okay, it looks like it comes really close to that right there, but it doesn't quite touch it, so we're in good shape. Now we want to extrude that a depth of 0.33. So we'll go there, reverse our direction, 0.33. So it should be relatively shallow. It's easier to look at these things when you go to view, visual style, shaded with edges. Then you can see your, your lines and your edges and those kinds of things. Okay, so that's the beginning. Let me move this out of the way. So I've gone back to my uh, plan, <clears throat> and we just finished drawing the rectangle, and now we want to revolve around to the other side and we want to make this indention here that goes around and we want to make these squares that go in uh, two squares that go in 0.47 so this is kind of a tricky little deal that we're going to have to work with in Inventor so let's get started by rotating around and then creating a new sketch in the back of that surface so it gets kind of tricky here we're going to we're going to take and draw a rectangle on here, and then we're going to extrude around the outside of that. We've got to do that on both sides. So we'll just take a, a rectangle here and start it somewhere on this line. It doesn't matter where. I believe it goes on this line. Let's take a quick peek at our instructions and see. Yeah, it's somewhere on this line right here that's curving. We're going to draw that out, over, and down. We're going to make it a height of 0.67, a width of 0.79 from that. So we'll start from, we're in rectangle, and we'll start from right along in here somewhere. Let's not hit any midpoint or anything. Let's allow ourselves to be able to move freely. So don't go to the green dot. If you can help it, don't go to any of the yellow dots. And we'll just click out here in space and then we want to make the constraint uh, dimension and we want to make this 0.67 don't worry about that it's above so we'll figure that out in a minute our total height from there to there is 0.78 and this is 0.67 so that's 0.11 half of that would be 0 0.055 so We'll, we'll put a new dimension on that from here to there. We'll kind of do some mental math here. 
I put 0 0.055 and see what that looks like. Yeah, it's centered there. And uh, what did I say the depth of that was? 0.78, I think it was? No, let's look at it. Yeah, 0.79 from there to there. So we'll come back here and we'll get a dimension for that from there to there. I guess I could have done that line as well. 0.79 is what we're trying to dimension. Oops. See what I mean? It's it's locked on to these constraints now. So that's going to be a, a sticky wicket for you. If if you try to move, it's locked in into a, a location and it won't allow it to to unconstrain from there. So I think I'm going to have to kind of play with this and get it not to come across these two dots. Uh, so I'll pause and I'll back up and try that again. If you're having the same problems, move it so that it's not connecting on any of these yellow dots. Uh, and we'll be able to figure that out. In just a minute. So I was just thinking around with this thing and I, I realized what I could do is I could get out of the dimension tool and I could go and click on here and just drag it and get it away from those yellow dots. So now hopefully what I can do is dimension that. Let me get back in my sketch tool and dimension and then use this bottom line right here. And this is going to be a 0.79. And there you go. So we're in the right location. We are 0.79 away from this line out. And our goal is to try to extrude this top part, the outside of this square, in 0.47. So we need a couple of more details. We need some fillets. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to look for and find that arrow right there that is showing us that our fillet is 0 0.05. So that one and that one are going to be 0 0.05. And then we'll come back. 0 0.05. And next we want to put the, let's see, I don't think we want to do the rectangle yet. I think we want to do the outside extrusion first and then do the rectangle as a separate extrusion in just a minute. So we're done with the fillet tool. Now we're going to see, can we extrude without having to do any fancy stuff? So the answer is no. You see how I'm hovering over this? and it's not allowing me to just choose this part. So I'm going to have to train the computer into understanding what it is I'm trying to do with this drawing. And I, I do it kind of a convoluted way, but it's the best way I've found to be able to, to get the computer to understand what I'm trying to do. I take a, in sketch, get in sketch, yeah. I take a line and I go from this corner of my box and I create a closed circuit and you know people do things differently my way is just I'm trying to think how, why is the computer not understanding what I want it to do and it's because I haven't told it exactly what I want it to do yet it knows I want to extrude but it doesn't know exactly what I want to extrude until I tell it I want this closed loop around the outside here to be what is extruded. Hopefully now that when I go to 3D model and extrude, it's going to spin around here. It's going to choose just that closed loop. So it always looks for a closed loop and for some reason it wasn't finding it was finding this part as well as that part. And I needed to divide that. So I'm dividing and conquering by clicking there, it gives me the part that I want to extrude. I want to extrude it in the opposite direction, and I want to extrude that 0.47 to get the pro appropriate depth there. So that one is correctly done now. And you can see we've got half of this done. And now what we'll do is we'll try to create some kind of uh, pattern where we can, we can do both of them. Um, we can do this side and then that side. So we won't do that quite yet. We'll, we'll go ahead and focus on the rectangle here. So we'll go back to our drawing and we'll see 
0.47 is the depth of that. So they're both the same same depth. I could have done both of those rectangles, this rectangle and this depth at the same time. It would have been a little bit more confusing, but uh, complicated. We could have figured it out, though. So now we want, uh, inside of here, we want a 0.48 tall, and it's 0.1 away from the bottom, and then 0.18 away from the uh, right side, and 0.47. So we're drawing a square, this point, or a rectangle, this 0.47 by 0.48. So we'll just right click in here, new sketch, take our rectangle tool, start it somewhere up in here, and just tell it to be 0.47 and then 0.48. Got to push tab in between to jump from one thing to the next. And now we need to dimension the distance away from the edges. So the distance from here to there, I believe, was 0.18. Let me double check. I want to make sure that I don't get it wrong. 0.18 from this edge to that edge is correct. And then 0.1 from the bottom. So change that to 0.18. And then change from there to there. Point one. Okay, so now we're centered. 3D model, extrude. We want that to go in also. 0.47. Check it. Okay, so now that we've got this side done, the best thing to do is to create a mirror, I think. Uh, it, it's the easiest way to get this to move, um, is to pattern it with a mirror tool. Uh, before we pattern with a mirror tool, though, we need to have a mid-plane. So we should be able to click on plane, and then we should be able to click on this side, then rotate around and click on the opposite side. Now we need to be at the same distance away, so we're on the outside of this one, you see? So when you click on that one and then this one, the mid-plane is the middle part right there. So we want that to appear so that we can mirror around it. Then in 3D model, we could choose pattern. And uh, this looks a little different than the 2D model that we've been using, but same kind of thing, features and mirror plane. So the features that we're gonna do is the rectangle and the extrusion. <clears throat> then once we've chosen that, we want to click on mirror plane and just choose the plane. And when we click okay, it has done all of that other thinking for us. And we've got something that's starting to look like a connector so the rest of the it, it is the rest of it is just details we're going to put some light uh, fillets around the edges uh, and inside of these edges we don't want sharp corners and that kind of stuff for our kids to play with fillets around here and then we've got to turn this into a little pincher a little place that you can you can squeeze and disconnect and reconnect and then we've got to put a couple of little uh, rectangular clinches in there. Other than that, we're pretty close to being done. I see my video is getting a little long, so I'll stop the video and uh, we'll pick it up and, and do the rest of it uh, in the next video. Uh, well, before I go, let's make our work plane invisible. We may end up using it again, but it's, it's there. It's just not visible to the eye. So. All right, good luck on this and uh, rewind and watch it several times until you get it right.